Hello, how are you? Hope everything is well. What you been up to? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's talk about a movie. Okay, so here it is. This is my review of a film called Wiener Dog. It comes from a director that I admire. He's very interesting. I like his sensibility. He's made some really great films. Well, somewhat great films. Some difficult movies, some interesting films, and some films that I just don't know what I've participated with. But I like him. I really do. He made a film called Welcome to the Dollhouse, Happiness, Storytelling, and some others that didn't really stay with me as much as those other ones. And Happiness might be his best film that he's ever made, but it's a film that I cannot recommend to everyone. So let's talk about his new one. This one is about a dog and his adventures, or her adventures, I think it's a girl, her adventures as she is put in the home or in the place or in the care of four different people. First, the dog is with a family. They have a child who I believe just survived cancer. So the kid needs a dog and the dog becomes the kid's best friend for at least a little while. And then the dog is with a shy young lady played by Greta Gerwig. I think her character might have been the same character from Welcome to the Dollhouse. And she gets a hold of the dog. She works at a place where they take care of dogs and put dogs down and probably neuter dogs and whatever. And she goes on a road adventure with an old friend played by Karen Culkin. And we get to meet Karen Culkin's brother who's got Down syndrome, his character's brother, and his brother is married to a woman with Down syndrome. And they look like a nice, sweet little couple. Then the dog goes and stays with Danny DeVito's character, who plays a teacher. He teaches film and screenwriting, though he's a, he was once successful, and now he's a failed screenwriter and really can't get a project off the ground. And then finally, we get to meet Ellen Bernstein's character. She's an old woman who's dying. And she names the dog Cancer. There is much more to the film, but I don't want to spoil how the dog kind of gets around or what happens in those certain stories. But what I will say is this is a film that was somewhat polarizing. Not in a good way, though. In a way where it felt like it was unfinished. It seems like the director had four stories to tell... And they probably were laying around in his mind or in his office or wherever he puts his stories. And none of them really could come out to be into a full-length film. So he looks like he branched them out to be in these four different stories and kind of tell the story through the eyes of a dog. But I can't say that I liked any of the stories... Some I preferred more than others, but it turned out the only really exciting and funny part of the entire film that had me laughing and falling on the floor was between these four stories, there is an intermission. And I'm not going to say what happens in the intermission. There's a song that's used about the wiener dog. I don't know if it's an original song. I like the song, but... The song, the dog kind of just walks around through different backgrounds, and then there's things saying, like, go outside, it's intermission, and go get some treats, and then welcome back to the feature. I mean, the movie is 90 minutes, so I thought that was quite a stretch to do something like that, and I admired the film for those few minutes because it only is a few minutes so if you actually really left the theater and came back you'd be missing some of the movie which i don't know if it would be a real big problem with uh you understanding what's happening because i watched the whole thing and i really didn't feel like the movie had a point at all we do get conversations when we meet these people but i feel like whatever these people are talking about 
why should we care? Really, why should we invest any of our emotion or time or energy into what is going on right now? Are we the dog and we're just going to be laying around? Is that the point of the movie is that we are the dog and we're just laying around and enjoying our lives and all these adults are dealing with certain problems and it's really not that important? I really wish this movie had more to say about its subject matter. I wish it was more challenging to the audience, a little more dark than it, than it, than it really wants to be. I almost feel like if you take out the bad language and you develop more, the, give the characters more to do and make it more, uh, ex I guess, um, enjoyable for the audience, this movie could have almost been a family film about a dog's adventure. I think there's a movie in the 90s called Polly, where we get to meet this bird, and the bird kind of goes from place to place to place, and we go on these mini adventures with the bird, and it's a family when it's nice. And I feel like, what an interesting stretch it would be if the director of this movie, who's known for making these really off-the-wall, avant-garde, strange, bizarre adult films, dealing with strong adult subject matter, see happiness, to find out why, Let's say that he kind of took a step back and decided, hey, with this Wiener Dog movie, I'm going to make a family movie. I'm going to make a movie about a journey. Uh, we get to know this dog. We get to know these strange people. But it is all centered on something that uh, the whole family can enjoy. But that's not this movie. That's not this movie at all. This movie is strictly for adults. It has adult language. It doesn't really challenge as much as... Previous films from this filmmaker that I really do admire, I think this filmmaker um, is someone I still I like. I still enjoy. I'm, I'm looking, I will look forward to what he's kind of come up with next because I love his odd sensibility. There's no one like this guy. No one like this guy at all in the business. And I like that he does have a voice. I just wish his voice was more clear and had more to say about life. It just feels like all these people are awful characters. None of them are really that interesting. The only characters that I really like that we don't really get to know at all, or at least as much as I wanted to, was this young married couple who have Down syndrome. I would have liked, can we just stay in this universe? Because at one point, they get the dog. And then suddenly, you know, it goes from there and you're just like, wow, there's a perfect opportunity to maybe have an emotional moment in the film. But you squander it, and then we just move on, and we have this really strange intermission, which I thought was the best part of the movie. It was the most entertaining part of the movie, but in the end, I felt cheated. I really did feel cheated as somewhat of a fan of this guy. So I don't know what else to say about this film. Uh, I just did not like it. I didn't hate it, but it was, it was quite a disappointment. I really was hoping for something a lot better than what we got. So, for that, I'm going to give Wiener Dog. Sadly, I'm just going to give it two stars. And that's it. And I'm done. Can I move on now? Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel. And also, please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day, live film, find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do, and I'll talk to you at my next movie review.